Howdy. Welcome to Fishtails. Well, this ain't Fishtails. This is uh, Garden Tails. Yeah, that's it. Last Saturday, I put together that trellis slash greenhouse, and I put together my rain barrels. Well, Old Man Winter made another appearance, and he did a pretty good job. Uh, Sunday night, it started getting colder, and by Monday, we had freezing ice rain. It sure has been a long winter. It doesn't seem to want to give up. Mm, life's better outside? Ooh, I'm not so sure about that. Not when it's cold. But anyway, let me show you how I'm making progress on my hydroponics. That is a bell siphon. But you have to look inside it to see what the siphon is actually made of. Let me show you how I did this thing. I wanted a sealed cap. I didn't want to punch through the sides of the pipe. Uh, I wanted to go through the end cap, so I simply got a drill bit that was the right size, and I drilled a hole right on the edge of that of that uh, cap, and then I used a, basically uh, I used a piece of PVC pipe, a coupler, and an elbow, and I actually sandwiched that between the cap, sealed it off real good, so it ought not to leak. Then I took a two inch piece of PVC pipe and I used another uh, hole saw, drilled a bigger hole which accommodates the elbows. The one inch uh, PVC pipe, the elbows are outside diameter almost, almost two inches but uh, that way I can make this thing uh, fit and seal it. That's, it's necessary for that to get the siphon action going. The reason you want the siphon action is because you want, in a hydroponic system, uh, you want the water levels to go up and down, up and down, up and down. They cycle, which allows the roots to breathe. If they're just in water, they smother. That's what the finished unit looks like, other than that lid's not been glued on yet, uh, and it hasn't been sealed around the elbow, uh, but I'll do that in a minute. I've started this pretty slow, uh, pretty small scale. I've got three tubes at this point. Uh, I will expand it. I think I'm going to try to raise corn doing this. That's a little tighter fit than what it should be, but it still works. The uh, important item is how tall that standpipe is inside the, the uh, larger drain pipe. Now the drain goes down into the next level. And the, basically the same thing happens on the other end, and then on the other end of the pipe, blow me the very bottom one, and then it goes into the receiving tank. But I haven't built that part yet. I'm still testing the siphons. Biggest reason I'm doing this, because you can't depend on rain, and of course the day I start doing it, it starts raining. But that's only one of the reasons. Uh, using soil, you have to have your soil tested, and there's always something wrong with it. Our soil doesn't carry nutrients very well. Uh, and we have problems with water. A hydroponic system uses far less water. Now how this thing is supposed to work, once that pipe fills up and it goes over the standpipe inside the bell siphon, it will kick the siphon off. What that does is, depending on the input level, uh, it will bleed it out down to a certain level. Then it, the siphon breaks and then the process starts over again and loads it right back up. It's, de it's designed for a low level or a low flow input. The garden hose is a little bit fast. This was just testing one of them. Basically what's happening is you've got all three of these things going at once. You're dropping water in the top pipe. It fills up. It makes the siphon. It draws it down. It dumps it into the second pipe. That does the same process. It fills it up. It makes the siphon, the siphon draws it down, it breaks the siphon, but it dumped that water into the third pipe or the next pipe in the row. It keeps doing that. I just use gravity. It should pull this down. Oh yeah, I heard it. Oh yeah, that worked like a champ. And then that'll stop flowing. Good. I think those are going to work just fine.
Let me give you a little more detailed look at it. That's a finished unit. Lid's glued on, it's sealed at the base. It's open at the bottom. You can't see that, but that's where it draws in the water. That's just how I uh, attached the cup outer cover to the standpipe. And there you have it. It works on the premise that it water spills over, it's a vacuum, and it starts a siphon. Once again, the idea is that with that standpipe in there, uh, it allows the water to fluctuate. It's not just a gravity feed. It lets air into the roots, which is one of the three key ingredients, sunlight, water, and nutrients, and oxygen. There you have it. Now if we can get winter out of here and a little bit of sunshine and warmth, I may turn it into an aquaponics. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.